Welcome back to the workshop, I'm Craig. This week I'm machining the ends of these two small lead screws down. These become part of a 3D printer that the local makerspace is building. The lead screws are slightly oversized in length and they're just a rough sawn finish at the moment. This is the drawing I'm going to work from. The material is stainless steel and I'm using a dial indicator on the carriage to, to see how far I've travelled left and right. The material was squealing a bit when I cut it. Um, some lubricant helped and having as little stick out as possible was helpful too. Stainless is a bit awkward because if you don't take a big enough cut it seems to harden up and then it's very hard to take a cut. So it makes sneaking up on a size pretty tricky. Where I've cut those shoulders on the lathe, there is a very, very sharp edge to the threads on the lead screw. And so I found a small file with a safe edge, which I could safely run up against the next thread. And uh, this this meant I could produce a nice soft start to the, to the thread, so it doesn't damage the nut. Now I don't have calipers that can measure 420 millimeters long, so I had to do uh, this rigged up setup where I use an, a one, two, three block at each end and just do my best eyeball measurement on the scale. The tolerance is plus or minus 0.5, so it's not critical. On the other end there's a small shoulder, just a single shoulder, 8mm diameter and 7mm long. This is the edge finder in my milling machine. This helps me find the end of the rod and the spinning part is a known diameter so I can step over half the amount and know that my centre is lined up. I'm using a 10mm carbide cutter on this. Carbide seems to do better with stainless. touching off on the vertical and it's only a millimetre deep but there's a lot of stick out and it's a thin part so I'm doing it in four or five passes. That was a climb cut and I shouldn't have done that. And that's the finished ends. They measured to size so I'm happy. And the other ends are just 8mm stubs for, for a bearing. That's it. Thanks for watching.